When installing your grid heater upgrade kit, there's a critical step that we're at right now. It involves the orientation of your uh, insulated washers versus the rest of the hardware. Um, if we don't get that right, we can potentially short out um, the heater power supply to the intake plate itself. It can cause melted wires, melted components. We, we just want to avoid that at all costs. So let's focus in on that right now. The idea here is the current that's going to power your grid heater is going to travel through this bus bar and then over to the actual heating element right here. So we want the current to flow through here, this bus bar, into our element. But what we, we want to avoid is current contacting the rest of the intake plate, because that will cause a dead short. What we have to do here is orientate our isolation washers in the correct way to allow current to go into the heater element, but not transfer into this intake plate assembly. In the manual, like I said, we have a, a blown up view at um, it's currently at the end of the manual. We're going to bump that up to the front just to make it a little bit easier. But uh, the insulating washers need to go on either side of the intake mounting point. Now if we move over to this intake plate, I'll show you right here. That is this guy right here. We need the insulating washers on either side of that. So when looking at your components, to tell the difference between insulating washers and a normal steel washer, We'll just show you side by side. A steel washer will be smooth and have a clear zinc coating. And the two insulating washers will have a bit of a texture to them. Still a little bit silver in color, but they look like they're made out of a fiber material, which they are. We'll start off by taking this insulated insert and put it through the through hole right here by the intake heater element. Careful not to drop that. First, we'll start off with an insulating washer and a steel washer. And we need to sandwich those between the grid heater element and the intake plate uh, mounting point here. We need the insulating washer to be touching the intake plate. We'll use a little screwdriver to help gain some clearance. So as you can see here, we have our steel washer touching our heater element and our insulating washer touching the intake uh, aluminum housing. Okay, next we'll take the other uh, insulating washer and our bolt and we will put that washer on like this and we'll come in from the back side and we will snake that through and I got a just adjust till the hole lines up. Boom, boom, boom. Like this. And as you can see, get my little screwdriver out again. Insulating washer, aluminum housing of your intake, insulating washer, then your steel washer, touching your grid heater element. The final step is the bus bar, which will come here on the other side of the element and get sandwiched, get sandwiched it in between the bus bar and the steel washer. That'll allow the current to travel through the bus bar into the element, into this bolt, but not into the uh, aluminum intake housing. So again, just being a, a, a little bit more diligent here, um, if this bus bar or this bolt contacts any part of this aluminum intake when it's powered up, that will cause a short, that will melt things. That's why we're being extra careful here. We focused on the heater element side for most of this video, but I also want to touch base on the opposite end of where the bus bar goes. As you can see, it lines up with this hole here where it will go through to the other side to mount up to our upper bus bar. The uh, insulating washer for that is this glass filled nylon piece. It's a little step one that gets pressed into here. Oops. Again, that is to insulate the bus, lower bus bar from the intake plate. That needs to be in place as well. If otherwise, we'll have a dead short as well. So as always, please follow our detailed instructions in our manual or download from our website. And honestly, if you have any questions, any reservations, please call our tech support line. 
get some further advice. We don't want to see you doing any damage to your components or your vehicle.